getting to 2020, big endorsement for Elizabeth Warren. You saw a few weeks ago, AOC and the uh, uh, Ilhan Omar and who's the other one? That, uh, uh, whatever, the other member of the squad, Rashida Tlaib. They were coming out for Joe Biden, not Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders rather, obviously not Joe Biden. They were coming out for Bernie Sanders, but one member of the squad was not coming out for Bernie. That was Ayanna Presley, the Ringo of the squad, and she is coming out now for Elizabeth Warren. Here she is. The American people deserve to be represented by elected officials who see them, who listen to them, and who fight for them. I have seen Elizabeth in small church basements and in packed gymnasiums, and she is consistent. She never loses sight of the people. You've all heard about the senator's plans, but here's the thing. The plans are about power. Who has it? who refuses to let it go, and who deserves more of it. For Elizabeth and for me, power belongs in the hands of the people. That's why she's fighting for fundamental change that restores power to those who've been left behind and centers those who've never had access to it in the first place. This election is a fight for the very soul of our nation. Elizabeth knows how to fight and she knows how to win. I'm proud to call her my senator. I can't wait to call her our president. I'm Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, and I represent the Massachusetts 7th Congressional District, and I'm proud to endorse Elizabeth Warren for president. Okay, so this is a good pickup for Elizabeth Warren. However, it's not the same as AOC and Ilhan Omar endorsing Bernie Sanders. Why not? Because Ayanna Presley sort of had to endorse Elizabeth Warren, because Ayanna Presley is a congressman from Massachusetts and Elizabeth Warren is the senator from Massachusetts. And so it just, these are people who've worked together. They share a constituency. It just looks much better for her to back the person from her own state. Also because Elizabeth Warren has momentum now, so she's finally willing to get on board. I suspect if Ayanna Presley were not from Massachusetts, she might withhold an endorsement. Maybe she would have gone to Bernie Sanders. It's a much bigger deal when you get the endorsement on the basis of ideology and not really just on geography or opportunism. And that's what happened when AOC backed Bernie and when Ilhan Omar backed Bernie Sanders. Still a good win for Elizabeth Warren. And she's trotting this out now because the race is starting to heat up and you're starting to see people snipe at one another. And because as we said a couple days ago on the show, Elizabeth Warren has made her decision. She was debating, is she going to try to fight off Joe Biden or is she going to try to fight off Bernie, Bernie Sanders? Is she going to steal Biden's moderate voters? Or is she going to steal Bernie's socialist voters? She's made her choice. She's running as a leftist and she's going to let Pete Buttigieg try to fight it out to win the moderate lane. She's going to the left. She's now advocating a $52 trillion healthcare program. She is trotting out endorsements from socialists. She's going all the way left. We'll see you know, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see how it turns out for her. If you enjoyed that video, honestly, even if you didn't enjoy that video, please hit the like button so that the rest of the YouTubes knows that our content is the best content out there.